Uh, hello, everyone. Um, it's a real, real pleasure to be here with you tonight. Uh, we started what we call Project Tango today uh, as a small project three years ago when we just had a few ambitious ideas that were just ideas on paper. Uh, but after many years of work, um, I'm really happy to be, have an opportunity to share with you the sort of the next step in that development journey. So our mobile phones today have become pretty incredible tools. I mean, they connect billions of people together. Uh, we have access to an entire world's worth of information uh, with the internet. You probably uh, took photos with it, and they take incredible pictures. And the processors that are in them today you know, rival desktop computers of not so long ago. So we've been working with our Project Tango development kits, which are publicly available today. Um, and uh, uh, this is uh, all software that we've actually been done either by us or by partners uh, that are here with us tonight. If I'm trying to uh, move into a new house, or say I'm a college student that has uh, just moved into their dorm room, and I want to put up some curtains to uh, make the place a little bit nicer, but I want to know how tall the ceiling is. Now, if I do it traditionally, I have to get a tape measure or potentially even a ladder and climb up to figure out the distance between the floor and the ceiling. But with a Project Tango device, uh, what I can simply do is use the sensors built into it and actually simply do a measurement. I can say, well, how tall is this roof? And I just tap. It leaves a little yellow marker on the ceiling. And then I tick on the ground. And it tells me that it's nine feet, five inches tall. Point here. Walk over here. Over here. And I'm just tapping on the screen, telling the camera to measure the point that I'm looking at. Okay. All right. And it tells me it's about nine, about nine, and nine feet, seven inches that way, and seven feet, six inches that way. So if I want to see if let's, uh, let's see how many sofa sections we can actually fit in this part of the stage. So what I can do is I simply tap on it and drag it to the screen like this. I can rotate it and reposition it. And if I want to try to extend the size of the couch, I simply drag another section off and it'll snap. So let's actually um, uh, spruce it up just a little bit. Uh, and sort of add a flower arrangement like that. The depth sensor is capturing distance points to uh, everything in the surface. And I simply hold it up and I look around kind of like a magic flashlight. So what it's doing is that it's taking the tracking data, the depth sensing data, and combining it all into this persistent 3D model. Now what's neat about it is that I can transition to a third person view. Like this. I'll even scan some of you guys out here. <laughs> so this is Gray. Uh, Gray is a, a, a kitten that we have here. Come on, Gray. Hey, come here. There you go. There you go. Uh, but what's also really neat is that since we have all of this information about the space around us, uh, Gray also knows about the furniture. Oh, like this. Oh, come on, Greg. You can jump down. Maybe we'll come on with this one. Okay, there you go. And this is basically Tango-enabled Jenga. So if I point at the table, we can capture the surface of the table, and can, we can actually start playing uh, a digital version of Jenga. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, let's make it a little bit tougher and take this one out. All right. It's suggesting that I should go this way. But I, I'm very excited to be here with all of you tonight. You know, we've had um, collaboration with Google on Tango uh, for about a year. And so to be able to sort of take the wraps off a little bit tonight and share with you um, what we've been working on is pretty exciting. You know, this is something that at Lenovo we love to do. We love to meld or merge creativity and engineering with products that are very fresh 
um, and we pride ourselves on device innovation. But I'm very pleased uh, to announce tonight that we're going to deliver the very first Google Tango device uh, for consumers. And yeah, uh, we're going to launch a product uh, and really take this uh, into the realm where uh, developers can feel very confident about uh, working on apps and consumers can look forward with anticipation of all of the capabilities that we'll bring. The price point will be under $500. And the, yeah, I told you we wanted to drive it into a mainstream audience. We, we don't believe this technology is uh, one that has a short lifespan. In fact, we think this is a fundamental shift. That's why we were so excited when we first sat down with Google. So as Jeff said, hardware is interesting, but the applications are much more interesting to us. And so we are announcing a joint application incubator program. So we know that a consumer device will be coming. So we want to give developers a chance to mature the applications that have been prototyping and also find new partners. Uh, through the developer kits and through our workshops, we found a, a few dozen partners that we're going to work very closely uh, to mature their applications, provide engineering support, and provide funding. But what we want to do is give a chance for others who are uh, working on technologies in the VR space and the AR space to target this platform. Because we are 3D creatures that live in a 3D world, having our devices share this level of perception is something that we think is a fundamental capability to a broad set of computing coming forward. Uh, and we, we hope you agree with us. So thank you for spending your time with us tonight and appreciate yeah. it. Thank you all very much. Thank you.